Farming is planting seeds and harvesting a crop. How the crop performs during the growing season is significantly influenced by the soil. So the most important part of farming is the land. Is it possible to improve the land and get more out of the soil to benefit the crops we grow? The most important thing is the land. The soil is everything. My grandfather called it dirt. I don't. It has nutrients and micronutrients. It has a structure with, with organisms, earthworms, nematodes, fungi, bacteria, biology, biodiversity. We're not planting a seed into dirt. We're planting it into soil. And the soil is a microscopic world. Soil is a combination of nutrients, organic matter, moisture, and air. The largest component is nutrients, and the amount of organic matter, moisture, and air are a reflection of the soil's health. As the amount of organic matter decreases, the harder the soil becomes. The harder the soil is, the less moisture it can hold. The lower the moisture, the more difficulty the soil has holding air, which is essential for soil biology, and it is the soil biology that is most responsible for how crops grow. Plants alone have difficulty absorbing nutrients, but when bacteria colonies grow, they convert them into organic forms which can be taken in. This process, known as chelation, is essential for helping plants absorb the fertilizers we apply. Bacterial colonies also contain moisture that is different from most ground moisture because it is pH neutral, the exact thing that plants need for proper nutrient uptake. Plants take up water and nutrients through the roots in either a healthy or an unhealthy way. Most plants with an unhealthy rhizosphere struggle to control the uptake of nutrients, since bacteria aren't there in sufficient quantities to be of much help. Plants, however, are always good at absorbing nearby moisture. Inorganic fertilizers enter the soil and dissolve into water. When the plant takes in groundwater, it absorbs these still inorganic nutrients. The plant grows quickly, but on close inspection, the cell walls are thinner and it mostly produces low levels of sugars. Plants with thin cell walls and poor sugar production are more susceptible to disease and pests so the only way to protect them is through the use of fungicides and insecticides. The better way is for bacterial colonies living in the rhizosphere to store pH neutral water and convert both organic and inorganic nutrients into forms that plants can use. Plants take in these nutrients and convert them into complex sugars and other chemicals during photosynthesis and the plant grows. With higher sugar levels, plants become less susceptible to insects, disease, and frost damage. The plant exudes some of these sugars back into the soil to feed the bacteria. The sugars stimulate the colonies into refining more nutrients from the base fertility program, unlocking and absorbing many of the nutrients that were previously tied up in the soil and making even more pH neutral moisture for the plant to use as needed. Bacterial colonies win, plants win, and we win. Crop Aid Plus is a highly concentrated carbon-based liquid solution. The ingredients it contains are specifically formulated to stimulate soil biology and plant growth. Lignin is a source of pure carbon and acts as an excellent biological trigger. Kelp is an excellent source of macro and micronutrients that all plants need, plus amino acids, enzymes, and carbohydrates. Zinc helps plants make many of the chemicals and processes they need to grow and function. Iron is essential for healthy leaves and plant enzymes. Manganese helps plants grow bigger and stronger. Boron is critical for seed development and root growth. These ingredients are the foundation of essential plant biology and health. Soil biology goes dormant every winter when the temperatures drop. In the spring, it is stimulated back to life by the previous year's plant diversity and their exudates. When we monocrop, not all of these exudates are there. 
Crop 8 Plus provides the trigger that nature can't. With healthy levels of soil biology refining fertilizer nutrients, the plant can now absorb them as needed, greatly improving their health and making your fertilizer application benefit the crop much further into the growing season. Plants that have good nutrient uptake throughout the growing cycle can have higher yields, plumper grain, improved quality, and more protein. All plants grow better when the land is treated with Crop Aid Plus, including weeds, and healthy weeds are easier to kill, leaving your crop cleaner. Animals pasturing on Crop Aid Plus treated fields eat less, gain more weight, move less because they are more satisfied, and are better able to digest their food. Crops taken off treated fields have much higher feed value than non-treated fields, including higher TDN, sugars, and protein. Crop Aid Plus helps the land through improved soil life diversity. As bacteria colonies multiply, other forms of life return and each bring their own benefit to the soil and the plants that grow in them. Soil structure improves with a diverse soil organism population, resulting in the reduction of clumps, compaction in hardpan, and improved water handling characteristics. Crop Aid Plus can be applied with pre-burn chemicals, the first herbicide pass, injected with liquid fertilizer applications, or with surface dressings like 2800. The second indicator of a healthy crop is plant emergence. The first 30 days of growth are the most important time for influencing the maximum potential yield of a crop. Crop Aid Seed puts nutrients directly onto the seed that help it grow until it is mature enough to absorb soil nutrients on its own. It also stimulates soil biology through the lignin and kelp, helping colonies grow and feed the plant, resulting in better germination and more uniform crop emergence. Crop Aid Seed causes the area surrounding the seed to become highly populated with beneficial microorganisms. It helps protect the plant from anaerobic predators in the early stages of growth and adverse soil conditions. Crop Aid Seed boosts the germination and vigor of the seed and helps the mycorrhizal fungi to grow hyphae, which attach to plant roots from the earliest stages of growth. The hyphae act as root extensions, bringing moisture and nutrients to the plant from beyond the nutrient-depleted area near the root. Especially when conditions are poor, the health of the rhizosphere is central to the health of the plant. Crop Aid Seed can be applied directly onto the seed by itself or mixed with seed fungicides, seed insecticides or inoculants. Every farm has challenges. Use Crop Aid Plus and Crop Aid Seed and make your land work for you.